Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my uh, Farfetch uh, purchase. I have done a bit of a bigger purchase this time as um, I actually had a birthday promotion code from the, Farf from the Farfetch uh, access program it was a pretty good um, birthday promotion so i decided to splurge a little bit on myself now i have three items that i have purchased with this order the first one is a skirt and the second one uh, which is the main item i was going for is something from Ferragamo and then I also have a knitted top as well so let's take a look at um, this first item which is a skirt uh, from Rick Owens I'll just clear the table so we can focus on one item at a time So here it is, uh, it's a denim skirt uh, from Rick Owens uh, for, from the Dark Shadow Limited uh, Edition collection. Now the item is made in Japan I, and I ordered a size 27. At first glance, uh, what I've noticed is the fabric is very stiff. It feels quite rigid and actually feels quite rough against my skin as well so I'm a bit worried that this is not the right item for me now taking a look at the hem it's actually a distressed looking hem now I didn't realize this uh, from the photo on the website and I don't think the description actually uh, stated that the hem is distressed or it's not um, it's not folded uh, and it's like a very raw look um, and look the threads can easily be pulled off um, look this is quite worrying for me um, I get that this may be the look that they are trying to present that sort of rock rock uh, look but I, I just don't think that's really quite my aesthetics and I'm not too sure that I can pull it off now the front um, has a row of buttons now you can see I'm really struggling uh, the buttons are quite hard to actually button up because of how rigid and thick and stiff um, the denim is um, look I am not too sure I will give it a try but I am not too impressed um, with this item so far so the first item is probably a fail I might try it off camera just to um, make sure but yeah I am not getting a very good um, feeling about all the good vibe about this item um, I guess the good thing with Farfetch is that I've had to return items a couple of times already and the process is quite easy so um, I'm not too worried about needing to return and get a refund for this now the second item I'll go with um, showing the knitted top um, before I go on to my next item um, the star of the show now this top is by a brand called Elm, um, and this is the long sleeved uh, knitted top um, it is a cropped uh, top which is not something I have in my wardrobe um, so I quite excited to try this uh, different type of knitted top the top does have a uh, zipper at the front which is very smooth and easy to zip up 
Um, the material is quite soft. Um, it feels quite uh, luxurious and the thickness is quite right for winter. So I am quite happy with this one. Now to my next item, which is the star of the show, uh, which was actually the main item I wanted to get with, with the order. And it's an item from uh, Salvatore Ferragamo. I have to admit I haven't bought anything from Ferragamo before and I'm actually quite surprised that um, the discount code actually uh, work for this item for me. So here it is, can you guess what this is? It's a backpack. So this is the Ferragamo Gancini motif backpack i hope i've pronounced it right i don't actually have a luxury backpack and i have recently found that i actually needed a small backpack um, so that i can go out in a more casual and a um, active outing um, in a way of say if i um, have to chase my son around um, with him on the scooter and every now and then I have to jog a bit to keep up um, this backpack uh, will become quite useful for me on those occasions as opposed to wearing a crossbody bag so I think I will definitely get quite a lot of use out of this bag so inside there is actually a small pocket here where you can put your cards and other um, sort of small objects that you would like to be able to reach um, quickly um, and inside uh, otherwise is just one main compartment um, for the rest of the uh, backpack. The lining of the bag um, feels like a suede type of um, feeling but I think it's um, a microfiber uh, material rather than leather. Leather smells great um, and otherwise uh, you have a strap here the strap is uh, one uh, single strap and the strap oh and here's the sorry here's the dust bag that comes along with the bag um, now back to the strap the strap um, is one long strap that loops around two gold hardware loops at the top and then at the bottom here you've got the um, hook the claps that uh, hooks on to the bottom two rings um, at the bottom of the bag so that you complete one big loop um, to form the um, straps of the backpack. Now because it is one big um, leather strap you can actually wear this bag as a crossbody if you were to pull the straps all the way uh, up the front. Uh, it's also got a small little top handle. Um, the opening and closing of the bag is via a magnetic, uh, a magnetic buckle. Um, very uh, easy and secured um, and otherwise the leather feels very soft and it's got a pebbled texture uh, for, for, for the leather and yeah so I think um, the, the bag is quite versatile that way multi uh, multi ways that you can wear the bag now I will just test out um, wearing this uh, backpack on myself and excuse my homeware, not very stylish homeware here. Um, but yeah, look, the, the straps are quite comfortable. Um, it is quite a decent length. Um, so that uh, I guess even if you're wearing a big jacket, uh, a puffer jacket, you know, you'll probably not have any issues uh, putting your arms through. But otherwise, yeah, the strap doesn't uh, doesn't adjust like you, this is not adjustable. The length is um, is one length only. Um, but yeah, look, for my body frame, it sits quite nicely. Um, 
where it is uh, like I quite like how it um, sits there in terms of the height uh, on my back on my back and yeah look I think I will this is a keeper so I will remove the rest of the packaging um, and I'll actually do some um, uh, further reviews uh, once I've had a chance to use this bag um, a few times to to give you more of a genuine uh, review about uh, what I like and don't like about this bag so that's it from me today if you would like to be notified of my next video with the review of this Ferragamo backpack please consider subscribing to my channel and if you like this sort of video please give it a thumbs up see you next time thank you bye